In this video, we delve into the world of intermittent fasting. It's a fascinating concept that's been garnering attention for its potential health benefits. Intermittent fasting in its simplest form is the cycle between periods of eating and not eating. There's another type too known as prolonged fasting, which spans several days or weeks. But today we're focusing on the intermittent version. When we fast, our body dips into its glycogen stores for energy. But here's where it gets interesting. Once those stores are used up, our body begins to break down fat into ketones. It's like shifting gears in a car, switching from a fast-burning fuel to a longer-lasting one. The whole process is a fascinating interplay of biology and willpower. Intrigued yet? Stick around as we explore seven compelling reasons why you should consider trying intermittent fasting. But before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Firstly, let's talk about spring cleaning. No, we're not referring to your house, but your cells. When you engage in intermittent fasting, you're not just abstaining from food, you're also stimulating a vital cellular process known as autophagy. Autophagy is essentially a recycling program for your cells. During this process, your cells break down and dispose of their damaged or unnecessary components. This isn't just about tidying up, it's about survival and resilience. When cells are able to efficiently clean house, they function more effectively and are better equipped to resist disease and stress. Autophagy is like the fountain of youth at a cellular level, helping to slow down the aging process and potentially ward off diseases like cancer and neurodegenerative disorders. It's a process that's always happening to some extent, but fasting can turn up the volume, allowing your cells to do more of this vital cleaning work. So fasting is not just about weight loss, it's about deep cellular cleaning too. Next up, let's dive into your gut health and heart health. You see, our gut is home to trillions of microorganisms, collectively known as the gut microbiome. These little critters play a vital role in our overall health, including our heart health. They help with digestion, vitamin production, and even the regulation of our immune system. But here's where intermittent fasting comes into the picture. Some research suggests that certain forms of fasting can actually benefit these microorganisms, leading to an improved gut microbiome, and a healthier gut microbiome can contribute to better metabolic health, which is crucial for heart health. In essence, when you fast, you're not just abstaining from food, you're also potentially helping your gut microbiome to thrive, and when your gut microbiome thrives, it can lead to better heart health. It's like a fascinating domino effect that starts with your decision to fast. So, it's not just about slimming down or looking good, it's about something much bigger. It's about taking care of your heart and gut health. Fasting, then, is also about taking care of your heart and your gut health. Ever thought about how you could keep your blood sugar in check? Well, fasting might be your answer. You see, when we eat, our bodies break down carbohydrates into glucose, which raises our blood sugar levels. Our pancreas then releases insulin to help our cells absorb this glucose for energy. But when we're fasting, our bodies don't get this constant influx of carbs. So instead, our pancreas reduces the amount of insulin it produces. This encourages our bodies to start using up stored glucose for energy. Over time, this can lead to lower blood sugar levels and improved insulin sensitivity. In other words, fasting could help our bodies become better at using the glucose we get from our food. And for those who are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes, this could be a game changer. But remember, while intermittent fasting can be beneficial, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new diet or health regimen. Control your sweets, control your life, right? Now let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, we're talking about weight loss. Intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool in the battle against the bulge. Here's the science behind it. When you fast, your body first uses up its glycogen stores for energy. Once those are depleted, it turns to breaking down body fat into ketones to keep things running smoothly. This shift can lead to weight loss as your body is essentially burning fat for fuel. Now you might be wondering how intermittent fasting compares to prolonged fasting when it comes to shedding pounds. Well, while both can result in weight loss, intermittent fasting is generally more sustainable and easier to stick with in the long run. Plus, it's not just about losing weight. It's about losing weight in a healthy way, maintaining muscle mass while reducing fat. 
prolonged fasting, on the other hand, may not always result in significant weight loss from body fat. It can also be tough to sustain and may come with some unwanted side effects like fatigue and mood changes. So if you're looking for a sustainable way to lose weight, fasting could be your ticket. Before we get too excited, let's take a moment to consider who should be cautious. While intermittent fasting can offer many benefits, it's not for everyone and it does come with its own set of risks. Firstly, fasting can sometimes lead to fatigue. This is because your body, especially in the initial stages, might struggle to adapt to a new eating pattern. You could feel tired or low on energy. Mood changes are another risk. The lack of food can make some people feel irritable or cause difficulty in concentrating. Migraine headaches can also be triggered by fasting. If you have a history of migraines, fasting could potentially exacerbate this condition, and let's not ignore the elephant in the room, the potential for disordered eating. Fasting should not be used as a cover for starvation or harmful dietary habits. Now, there are specific groups of people who should avoid fasting altogether. Pregnant women, for instance, need consistent nutrition for both themselves and their developing babies. Fasting may not provide enough nutrients for this critical period of growth. Similarly, people with certain medical conditions like diabetes should approach fasting with caution. For diabetics, maintaining a balanced blood sugar level is crucial, and fasting could potentially disrupt this balance. Those with a history of eating disorders or who are underweight should also avoid fasting. Fasting can sometimes trigger unhealthy behaviors in people who have struggled with such issues in the past, and lastly, children and teenagers. These are periods of significant growth and development, and adequate nutrition is vital. The bottom line? Remember, your health comes first, so always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new diet regimen. So, there you have it. Seven science-backed reasons why you should consider trying intermittent fasting. We explored how it stimulates autophagy, benefits our gut microbiome and heart health, controls blood sugar, and supports weight loss. But remember, while the benefits are promising, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's crucial to consider the potential risks and consult with a healthcare professional before embarking on this journey. Intermittent fasting is more than just a diet. It's a lifestyle change that requires discipline, patience, and most importantly, mindfulness of your body's needs. It's not about starving yourself, but rather understanding and respecting your body's natural rhythms and nutritional needs. Did you find this video useful? Leave a comment below and don't forget to use our calorie and protein calculator to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to try our 90-day dopamine detox challenge, watch the video on your screen next. Until next time, stay healthy.